I'm John Bowden, and it's part two of our interview, three-hour interview with Jason Sheff, former lead singer of Chicago, one of the many singers in the new band Generation Radio. Dean Castronovo's in it, of Journey, of course, and Jada Marcus, a formerly of Rascal Flats. It's an amazing album. From start to finish, I thought every song, except maybe some of the rockers, which might be too heavy for some Evelyn Everybody Joe Lunchbuck at radio stations, but everything sounds like a single. It's coming out August 12th. There'll be links in the description where you can pick it up. In this one, Jason Sheff talks about Peter Cetera joining Chicago and also leaving the band as well. He also talks about Jerry Sheff, his father, who played with Elvis from 69 to 73 and 75 to 77. And before we play the clip, remember, subscribe to our channel, like our videos. If you want to help the channel, we're trying to raise funds right now to build a new computer because the old one's dying. There's a PayPal link right in the description of this video. You can buy a t-shirt or else join our Patreon. Here's Jason Sheff. By, by the way, a colleague of, of mine, I used to syndicate radio shows across country in the 80s. He, uh, <clears throat> he's the one that got a chance to talk to Peter when he released his second solo album. <clears throat> so Chicago 18 just came out. And mm -hmm. uh, so he asked him, and you probably heard this many times. He said, well, what do you think of the album? And Peter said, I love the album. He says... You can't argue with it's still Chicago. The only thing he says, I don't think 25 or 64 was necessary, he said. But he says that album's that's that's a great Chicago album. And I thought that was really that, that was very cool. Let me tell you something. I wish I would have kept the, the message, but I got a phone, uh, a voice message. Hi, Jason. This is Peter Cetera. I just wanted to tell you, I've heard the album, Chicago 18. I've heard the album, and I just wanted to tell you, man, love your voice, love your writing. Congratulations, and don't get into too much trouble out there on the road. How cool is that? I mean, right there, and I've spoken to him a few times over the years, and my dream is to actually work with him. We've talked about doing some stuff together. I don't know how much he's really doing anymore, but... You know, I don't mean to go off on tangents, but I'm working with Michael O'Mardian on some stuff, you know, of my own. And we talk about this, you know, and Christopher Cross, who Michael was involved with. But Peter Cetera, along with Verdine White, two, you know, Verdine more than Peter. I was not like a like a super fan of Peter in Chicago. Totally appreciated them, especially with yours and my um age and what we came up with 70s and 80s chicago but verdeen white without question made me made me want to play bass but satara and verdeen immediately made it peer to peer not like i'm the teacher you're the student and that's such an awesome thing john because you hear stories of people that were but satara was always so supportive and 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 you know so i just I think the world of him and uh, what did you learn from what, Peter Cetera after, sorry to interrupt you. What did you, after performing those songs night after night, is there something that you learned about Peter Cetera after performing those, those tunes sitting in his, uh, in his chair in his. Did, what I learned about Peter Cetera, I mean, I already knew it, but to, to go out there and an attempt to, uh, you know, to continue this thing, what a badass he is. I mean, I mean, let's be honest too. And, you know, I was, I was ready in the studio with that band, but boy, to, to take center stage and be a folk, I mean, come on, I was not really ready. And, and these guys, like I said, they were so sweet and believed in me, especially Champlin. Like I said, I would have expected, you know, this, but he and I were friends before, which was awesome. But I would have expected Champlin to come in and and whether he felt it deep down, you know, like, are you kidding, man? I mean, you know, this is this is not really the level of what we could have. But I, I kind of I kind of warmed my way in by making the record first. <laughs> right. But Champlin always, you know, when I was struggling, he would pull me to the side and take me under his wing and said, why don't you try this, man? Why don't you try this? Just so supportive and beautiful. And the whole band was always, you know, cause I've heard horror stories of other singers, you know, trying to replace iconic singers and 
and getting a little roasted and chewed up and spit up. These guys. That well, it's the old, who is this guy? Who is it? Who is it? It's like this, like trying to get into a prog band or a group on Facebook where they looked at me because I've interviewed all these prog guys. They'll go, they'll go, John Bowden, who, who is this guy? We don't know if we could accept him. But the same goes on. Like Jeff Coffey told me, they'd look up at me and this woman, there's this woman looked up at Jeff Coffey and says, he's not Jason Chef. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's so weird for me to hear, man. Well, the other thing that's so cool, too, because people will, will come up and they'll, you know, they'll try and, like, figure something out that isn't there. It's like, this is really simple. You know, my, my uh, in-laws were ill, and I went and talked to management and the guys at the beginning of six, 2016 and said, I got to go take care of my family. And they were so beautiful and supportive, man. And, you know, the next thing I know, there's, you know, this, con this incredible band continues on. And, you know, when somebody that came up during uh, the era that I was in the group or, or Cetera and this was well, not, it's just not the same. Well, of course it isn't, but guess what? Somebody's going to come and see that, that band for the first time. And whoever's standing up there is their guy. And here's the, here's the real picture, which is fantastic. Is that long lamb said this, and he's so right. Long after all of us are gone, we're part of a body of work that I believe will go down as important as any of the, the works of the classical composers. In 200 years, people will be studying and listening to and performing Chicago, just like Mozart and Beethoven. I mean, some people may say, how can you say, well, sorry, but I really believe that. Did your father help you at all? Because I certainly know who your dad is. Did your father no. sit? He didn't say anything when you got this gig? He didn't. No, you know what he said to me, which was funny because I didn't quite understand it at first, but he goes, that's great if that's what you want. Now, listen, he was standing next to a guy that, that was, you know, one of, you know, something that is once in a lifetime, Elvis Presley and all that focus and attention did him in. So what my dad was saying, I kind of realized, you know, there's going to be a lot of my son, JJ, is, is, uh, probably hates what I say, but he's an Interscope artist. He was signed by Interscope, and he's really been taking his time because I think he's watched, you know, once you get out really in the spotlight, it's going to be a lot of, so he's, he's over in Norway right now. And Sorry, JJ, if I'm giving your secrets away. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that part two of three of our first interview. We did a half hour interview and then at the end of it, he said, John, I really want to talk to you some more. I've got another interview coming up in a few minutes. It's only half an hour. Can I join you at the top of the hour? We'll talk some more. I said, sure, because I'm, I'm done for interviews for the day. So then we talked for two and a half hours. So these first three clips are from the first half hour. So we'll have another clip for you coming up in a few days. If you want to see all the clips from part one, just join our Patreon. You'll have access, early access to all our videos all the time. And as we produce them, we'll put them up. Also support the channel, please. We're trying to raise funds for to build a new computer because our old one is dying. The one that basically builds all our videos is dying. You can help via PayPal. There's a link in the description, also a link to buy a t-shirt, and of course, a link to join our Patreon. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take good care of yourself.